After completing the quick setup, you can adjust the controller settings for better usage. The operations of different controller types are similar, so in this video, we'll use a software controller as an example. Launch your controller. Go to Global View, Settings, Controller Settings. In User Interface, choose your desired language for the UI. You can also enable Use 24-Hour Time to display time in the 24-hour format, or disable it to display time in the 12-hour format. In History Data Retention, you can enable client's history data so the system will record known clients, client history, and client logs. Note that this will occupy considerable storage space. Time-based settings here will affect the graphical display of statistics and network report. You can also join our User Experience Improvement Program to help improve the controller. Don't forget to save your settings. Now let's move on to server settings. Here you can set up the mail server to enable the controller to send emails for password resets, notifications, alerts, and system log deliveries. The mail server feature works with the SMTP service provided by your email service provider. You can consult your email service provider for SMTP parameters. Finally, we come to maintenance. We strongly recommend that you back up configurations after completing controller settings and before upgrading the software hardware controller. You can back up settings only, or back up all controller data within a specific period. You can easily import and restore the backup configurations and data when needed. You can also enable Auto Backup so the controller will periodically backup configurations and data. During Auto Backup, the controller's MongoDB database consumes significant CPU and memory resources. It's advisable to schedule backups during times of low network usage, such as early morning hours. For detailed parameter explanations, refer to the Help Center in the upper right-hand corner of each web page.